Hey, bro. Oh, I never got a close look at him before. Oh. I bet he doesn't have icebreakers. I bet he doesn't either. <laughs> Number 15. The tree man. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't face the tree man. <laughs> he sees it as some sort of territorial challenge. The last thing you want to do when you're stuck in a maze is look at the tree man. <laughs> You'll surely die. <laughs> I thought it was going to stop, but then it just didn't. It kept going. <laughs> <laughs> you know, with us talking about Pilk, P.E. makes uh, for a much different experience than it was in school. Pilky. Instead of physical education. Pilky education. The only class that I look forward to more than sex ed. I mean lunch. The Pilk Re-Education Center. <laughs> I'm trying to imagine what a Pilk re-education center would look like. Um, well, um, you see, obviously it would look like it would be a charity just like Ronald McDonald House. Oh, yeah? <laughs> a non-profit. It's like, uh, you want to donate one to five dollars to Pilk Addicts? <laughs> <laughs> Go straight to the Pilk re-education center. Nowhere else. I was hoping more like it would introduce people to Pilk. Oh, it's like a, it's like, it's like a, what do they call timeshares? <laughs> it's like, that's right, in the Bahamas you have Pilk waiting for you. <laughs> you just have to embrace it. It's like a motivational speaker. Right. Pilk can make you who you want to be. With our patented technology, our, our, our bio-scientists have engineered Pilk. <laughs> Run faster, jump higher, <laughs> beat it off faster, uh, be stronger. We found a secret formula, tens of thousands of dollars of research, scientists pouring their hearts into this product. Speaking of pouring, how about you pour some milk in uh, your glass? Uh, we're partnering with DoorDash. You can uh, double dash pilk straight to your door from any uh -oh. major retail. <laughs> Or convenience store. The reestablishment of family values. After all, the F in Pilk stands for family. <laughs> That's right, you don't have one. We are your family. So uh, I, keep, I keep thinking about the Pilk Re-Education Center. Yeah? And just like some 1984 action, like they're starving a dude out and <laughs> trying to like brainwash him. Oh my god. I love Big Brother. I love the Pilk Man. My wife loves the Pilk Man. The Pilk Man comes to our house every morning. You know, funny thing is, he never leaves any Pilk. What does he leave? He fucks my wife! <laughs> <laughs> Yo, do you want to leave? He's... Where are you, my Discord kitten? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, uh, you think people have died here? Nah, those are props. That's what I think so, too. Imagine being like, man, I really hope that we find, like, other intelligent life. And not even being able to live with your own intelligent lives. <laughs> that's what we need. More people for me to not agree with. That That's what we need. More people for me to kill because they're different. Yeah, for real. <laughs> yeah, that would really do us some good. You know the best part about Tree Man? What's that? It's like it's like having Siamese twins, except you don't have to love them both because it's the. <laughs> <you know? laughs> because there's only the one. There's only the one. Where are we? <laughs> the glow stick bounce off <laughs> of the air. <laughs> yeah. Alrighty, well I'll try to leave this dead end now um and hopefully he's not there and if he is there oh well i spawn at the entrance you know what i'm gonna go die that's genius and i'm gonna just hope that it spawns me at the entrance actually because i was talking out of my ass the feeling i'm getting right now is like the feeling when 
when you have like a nightmare and then you're just like, wait, I'm fucking dreaming. And then you like rush it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, all right, come on. <laughs> I'm ready to wake up. Uh, yeah. All right. This is a fine. This is a lucid dream now. I can fuck whoever I want, including you, nightmare monster. <laughs> Hmm. Oh, I hear him. Come on! You lucky bastard. Uh, no, I hear- No, I'm stuck in, like, the small corridor hedge maze. This is gonna be rough. I'm gonna turn down my mic a little bit. Because it's gonna be another <laughs> scream the moment he comes in contact with me. Hey, bro- Oh, I never got a close look at him before. Oh. So he's not a tree man, he's like a dude who's like actually just like split in half and he's got those like vines on him. Ah. Weird. So. It spawned me back at the entrance. Nice. All right. Use Vic's vapor rub. <laughs> <laughs> My healer. What? <laughs> that, that took me a second. <laughs> that's you know what? That's what I I that's my new head cannon is. We're we break in here, right? We find we find the seals. Oh, he's coming this way. Pretty sure that was a dead end. Okay. And then we steal his he's, we steal his inhaler and then we leave. <laughs> he's got five inhalers placed around the map so that there's always one where he can reach it. And then we're like, ah, nope. <laughs> Take that old man. My uh my brother posted on his Instagram it was a buddy's birthday and so he like <laughs> he pointed back at him from the camera, but he was doing like that Wojak where it's like the where he like makes an O with his mouth and he like points backwards. Oh like, yeah, you know the one I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, they're <was> talking about. <laughs> they should have more of those uh, spooky signs. Some more Gumpy's House of Jump Scares action. Mm-hmm. I made it myself. <laughs> Did I get you? <laughs> That's exactly <laughs> what he would say too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Bubba always liked that one. Oh right, I don't have to find it. <laughs> Wait, do minutes. you see that? Wait, see what? Oh, that says Project Honks. Oh, never mind. So I read that as Project Hanks. <laughs> that would have been creepy. And I was like, Wait, no way. <laughs>